Let's, Let's go. go. Dear Stan and T-Bomb. Okay, now here's a real question that came in from an email. That was just me, but this is real. Stan and T-Bomb, my husband got caught cheating, and he confessed it to me once I caught him. I couldn't just throw 11 years of marriage in the trash, though. So we have been in counseling, and we've been trying to repair our relationship. My issue with him is accountability. I told our counselor that my husband had an affair. He says that he never had an affair. He said he had a one-night stand, and he made one whack decision in our 11 years of marriage and that I'm overreacting. He said he never had any feelings for the woman. He said doing something once and never doing it again should not hold the same weight of a, or a penalty as someone who has had an affair and gives their heart away. I'm really trying to make this work and move on, but it's pissing me off that he's trying to minimize the offense he committed by saying that he didn't have any feelings and that he only effed her one time. Once is the same as 21 times to me. I bet he wouldn't want me to let someone poke inside of me just one time. And then she ended it. She didn't say nothing else. Well, well, did he suck it? So, so this is what, this is what I want to know. <laughs> what? Did, did she suck wait, it? Did or he suck did it? Did she just suck it or did she kiss him in the mouth? No. Like, it, he, I he, need to know which one of them happened. He had intercourse. If, if, if he, he had just, sex. If she just sucked he, it, no, then that's not the same sex. thing. Because you said no. it's not as personal. I agree. So if she just sucked it, then hey, that ain't really I, technically cheating. I, l listen, I agree. So but did she suck? Did he, did she no, suck? No, he cheated. He had sex with another woman and he confessed it. But he said, I just, after one time, mm. it was no feelings involved, no nothing feelings. else. Mm. And he did not have an affair. And so she's saying she's having a hard time with it. She doesn't want to throw away 11 years of a marriage. But he needs to take accountability and admit he had an affair. And he's saying, no, I didn't have an affair. Okay. I had a one night stand. Okay, what so do you I get say? what you say. Angela Clemens, Horace, uh, Cuzzo, Eddie Hawkins, everybody that's over there on Facebook, we appreciate you guys. Y'all chime in on this one. What do you IG, say? I'm ready, tell me to, what I'm ready say. to give my So reply. personally, I will say this. Did, it's a lack of accountability is what's going on. That's the first problem. Did he have right? an affair? Yes, he did. Even though it was one time. If you're doing something that you couldn't tell your husband or your wife about, you're, doing, an you're having an affair. Um, so he's having an affair. I, I wanted to know, did she suck it? But what I'm saying... Well, it's worse. He he poked it. He and he had intercourse and penetration. That's worse than sucking it. Okay, so what I will say is, yes, you have violated her. And what you're doing is diminishing the act when you don't take ownership so she can't get past it. You're leaving her in a stuck position when you don't take the ownership. So even if you don't think you cheated, um, I don't he know... He said he cheated, but okay. it's not an affair. And I agree with him. So what you're saying is your, your heart wasn't in it. Correct. Um, you wasn't interested in her as much. Correct. You just wanted to let some steam off. He so had a whack decision, he said. And he so made you a made a whack decision. decision. But it, uh, I know you don't think of it as an affair, uh, sir, uh, but you had an affair because you stepped outside of someone. If you brought her to your home and introduced her to your wife and took her in the room, that's different. But you had an affair because it was unbeknownst. Uh, is that a word? Unbeknownst? It's a, it was unbeknown to your mate. And so that's cheating. And so you do have to own it a little bit because what you're doing is saying, well, I wasn't in it with my heart. I mean, it was just with my penis. I wasn't really, like, locked in with her. I don't like her like that. And it was just the one. But you still spent that time and that energy, and you spent a little time working up on it. That means you was talking to her a little bit. Not necessarily. Well, she's a real uh, hoe. If 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 you he's, just ran up on her and he, stuck it in there, she's a whole hoe. He probably she's a whole hoe, and then so he now she's did hump so a now hoe. she's really having reason to be mad with you because your, dis your discretion your discretion is real wild. If you just ran up in there and just met her, and so she was a hoe and you was dumb, and so now she has reason to be pissed because you still saying, Nah, it wasn't no affair. I ain't like her like that. So if you already owned it, own it all. Because okay. it's kind of dumb for you to well, say, I, I did, but I didn't. Because that's kind of um, sound, sound dumb. So grow up a little bit and be like, yeah, baby, you know what? I was a little drunk that night, and I slid. He and said I'm, that. So I apologize, and that wasn't a fair, and I won't do it again. Like, just okay. be a grown-up. Like, grow the hell up. Like, um, and so stop pretending, because it's not going to diminish how she feels. And you're going to get on her damn nerves, and she's going to get her a go-get-a-dick-free card. And so that's what you don't want. And, okay. And women have those. Like Monopoly, they'll be like, oh, shit, get out of jail free, get a dick free. And so that just means, well, the moment I get caught, they're going to say, well, you did it. That's called a get a dick that's only, pass. Get that's out of, only when, be, go get when a you dick don't care about your box and your body. But what I will say, I will weigh in on this. 
Um, I hate when things like this happen because, like she said, she doesn't want to just throw away 11 years of marriage. I definitely don't advise you to throw away 11 years of marriage because your husband did what 98% of... Uh, well, oh, slow down. Don't 98%. Wait, 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 wait. Of, who do the percentages? Baby, wait, I wait. didn't interrupt when you did yours. But you were saying percentages. I, I know. I, I have my facts. I'm, I didn't interrupt mm. when you were saying yours. Buck, so you hear this? I said she should not end 11 years of marriage for what 98% of husbands probably will at some point do. Um, and, and, you know... It was a it was a bad decision that he made, and I know a lot of y'all women are not going to like me for what I'm about to say, mm. but he's right in a sense. An affair to me is something completely different than a bad decision on a bad night that he just made a bad decision. If you give your heart away and you phone boning and y'all going out of town together, y'all spooning and you in a whole relationship behind your wife's back and you having an affair, that's totally different and that's grounds for fuck you, goodbye. But if he messes up one night and he made a whack decision, I'm not excusing it, I swear I'm not, but it is not something to end your 11-year marriage over because 98% of them will probably at some point over the course of the years do something really bad or well, really me, dumb. Well, let me ask you this. What if he never takes ownership, right? What if he always says, well, I don't look at it as a fit? Well, what he said... How do, how do you stay with that? Be, like, that how is does, tomato, tomato at that point. We both got to grow up. I did... He he did a dis, indiscretion. He did not fall in love. He didn't give his heart away, his money away, or nothing. He gave his little wee-wee away for one night. Hopefully, he wrapped up. So, Eddie said... Eddie said, I think what he's trying to say is, I didn't... I did it because it was available... But he's not trying to throw away his marriage off one bad act. Correct, and I and agree so with that's that. That's what he's saying. So only the only thing that's the, the problem is he's that he's just, just not taking the whole ownership. So she so, got to let that go. It's about words. It's wordplay. You had an affair. No, you had a one night stand. You fucked. That's the thing. You did it. Well, well, let me ask the ladies. Any anybody can answer real quick. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up after this. So real quick though. If he does not admit that it was an affair because he feels like it wasn't an affair, his heart wasn't in it, do you still take it and keep going, or do you cut it right there? She not okay. If it, what you say? Mm-hmm. Right. So what do you do, though, when he says, I don't feel that I cheated? No, because he, he, he cheated. No, he's saying, I don't feel I was involved. Like, I wasn't into her like that. Yep. Right. He, like, he, I yeah. didn't have an affair. He, he I didn't wanna, have a relationship. He, he doesn't want to say that he actually had feelings for that person. Because that's what it was. Right. Yeah. It's not happening. That ain't, yeah. And so you keep going she gotta anyway. Eat that she got to eat it. And they got to rebuild yeah. and keep going to counseling. So here's my solution. Continue going to counseling. Don't weigh so heavily on what the word is. If he said he had an affair, and he said he did, he said he did it, and he doesn't want to lose his wife. He messed up. He made a whack decision, and we make whack decisions all in life, and God don't, he forgives us. So forgive him, try to, and don't end your 11-year marriage over a mistake. That's my advice. But but what I will say is you really have to forgive him, though. You can't say, I'm going to forgive him, and then, and then feel him. away because he really didn't say what you wanted him right. to say. Because then him. you're going to hold it over his head, and that's when that get get the, get the D free card come out. And that's that's a problem. So right. All if right. you well, forgive if you all, him, forgive him. If y'all have a question for us, the email is info at spotlightovertocity.com. Keep them coming in. We are very grateful, and it really keeps us engaged. So thank you. Thank you much. All right, we'll be right back with our first guest, Chef Dave Me, please. Chef Dave Me. Hey. 